<clears throat> Where'd you get that? I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. <laughs> huh? <sighs> How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? All right, we are done with all the side quests and we are about to head back to 7th Heaven. Now, it was actually a good idea that I went and did all the side quests, even though I didn't show every single one of them. Because it unlocks some uh, special little scenes and some stuff that I'm sure will be important later on in the game. Hey, Marl. We took care of the filters. So, we're going to head back to the bar now. Take care, you two. Oh, you're looking pretty chipper. Uh, I don't feel that different. Must be my imagination, then. <laughs> anyway, keep your wits about you, Merc. A token of my appreciation. Be good to her. Something I've been struggling with in this game is keeping in mind the fact that the end of the uh, Midgar section of the game is going to the end of this game completely. So I keep thinking, like, oh yeah, I'm right at the beginning of the game. Could be in context for the first Final Fantasy VII. This is really only like an hour or so into the game. <laughs> I keep having to keep in mind that I'm actually a few hours into the game, and I should prepare accordingly, not save my money or whatever. But anyway, here's Seventh Heaven. Well, you want to head inside? We're back. Did you have fun? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene, wanna go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. <sighs> Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay... You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. Oh, I'm really sorry, but it shouldn't take much longer. In the meantime... <laughs> grab a seat. What'll it be? I don't know. Something hard and bitter. Most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, uh, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. I gotta go. Uh, enjoy. Huh? Hey, you see the news? The reactor bombing was the work of the eco-extremist group Avalanche. Public enemy number one. Gets your heart racing, doesn't it? They don't know our faces, so we're in the clear for now. But we'll want to capitalize on this momentum. Speaking of which, you coming on the next one? For the right price. Oh, you can bet I'll be pushing hard for a raise. <sighs> Tifa will be joining us too, but I don't know. Even the blind man can see her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings. So if it comes down to do or die, 
If I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then I'd rather that someone was a professional, like you. Could still kill some time. In the original game, none of the characters really showed any kind of remorse for what they did. They went and they blew up the reactor, they caused all the additional damage, and they killed a lot of people, but they all seemed to have been excited about it, especially Barrett. Now, Tifa wasn't a part of that initial bombing run, but she was involved in Avalanche, and she sort of stayed behind while they went on the bombing run. And then the second bombing mission happened, she chose to go along. So clearly she didn't show any remorse about what happened. She didn't have any second thoughts. She, I don't know, perhaps just wanted to go only because Cloud was there. But they're adding a lot of little extra complexity here by having the characters hmm, having regrets about what happened. Now, in the original game, there was the collateral damage. I, you had to go around as the player, though, and search out that fact. You had to go and talk to NPCs and check the TV and all that kind of stuff to get an idea about the collateral damage that they caused. So I guess it's possible that a person who's not investigating is just not going to notice and not going to cue into the moral ambiguity about what they do. On one hand, they think they're trying to save the world, and in fact they, I guess, are. On the other hand, they're harming a lot of innocent people. In this, they're putting a lot more effort into making that uh, come through. Now here's the Dart minigame. Did not exist in the original game, and I guess it's kind of cool that they put stuff like this in. Not just side missions, but minigames. Trying to score darts. Now the aiming is a little bit of a pain in the ass, but I guess it's supposed to be. So you gotta reduce the score down to zero. Not less than zero or whatever. <laughs> so as you see, I'm repeatedly restarting. I actually, I think I probably did this ten times by the time I actually managed to win. You're actually competing against a scoreboard, which is to Cloud's right, which has the various uh, Avalanche characters, as well as I think Johnny might be on the scoreboard. And apparently, if you manage to win this by scoring the best score, which is determined by how many darts you've thrown, the fewer darts the better, you get some items a little bit later on in the game. Also, you get the your name, or Cloud's name, written on the scoreboard. So, you know, double 20. Now I just got to score one, and it highlights what you need to get. And that's a pretty big target, so this is easy enough. But it took me like 10 tries or so to get the hang of this. I cut most of those out. Hope you're proud of yourself. Eight, uh, seven darts thrown. Beats Wedge by one. Wedge is actually good for something. Who would have known? Hmm. Alright, so we go back over to the bar and we wait for a Tifa to come back. you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. If it feels wrong, don't do it. Kick you out? 
We agreed to disagree. So, you want another drink? Tifa! Time to celebrate. Break out all the good stuff. Oh, sure. We won't be needing you for this next job. Feel free to look for work elsewhere. Fine by me. That's how I like it. No contract, no obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This here's a private affair. I tried. We talked it over, but... In the end... We didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? Be right there! No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse! I'm dying here! Catch you later. <sighs> Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. Avalanche! <laughs> <sighs> that hit the spot. Damn, Biggs. Slow down. <laughs> keep it tight. We'll talk later. I promise. Sorry, you were saying? More reason to live it up now! So what? Now you give a shit about the cause? Okay, what were we talking about? Yep, best way to clear your head so you can focus when it can. We were all pushing real hard for you, you know? So, where'd we leave off? It's been too long since we did this. Not since we went on that all-night bender after HQ gave us the boot. They did Sorry, boss man wasn't having it. Oh, my bad. Continue. It will Can't expect anyone but a true believer to stand tall if everything goes sideways. Oh, my bad. Continue. Uh, just thinking about it's making me mad again. <sighs> Can't believe it's already been a year. I don't know how we managed. Well, I do. It was you guys going above and beyond. Thank you. No need for that, boss. We all knew what we were signing up for. Yeah, but when shit hits the fan... It's good to know you in my corner. At the end of the day, you're all I got. <laughs> Happy to look out for you, like I know you'll look out for me. So long as someone looks out for my stomach. Tifa's got you covered there. As a friend, or as a cook. As if you've really got to ask. <laughs> hey, right? little guy. You need anything? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. That tickles! <laughs> I guess it is kind of obvious. <laughs> You know, it'd be really cool if we could do this again tomorrow night. Oh, we will. Avalanche! Avalanche! <laughs> <laughs> you heard him, it's on for Why sure! Why not every night? <laughs> you guys. In the original game, uh, Cloud was immediately hired for the next bombing run. So in this, though, that's a bit of a change. Now I notice there's some people out here. Where does he live hmm. in this town? What in the hell do they want? We'll find them soon enough. Man! Seems like the boss always gives us the most so shit-tastic assignments. Guess that's why we're paid so damn much. <laughs> There's no what better way to unwind after a hard day's work. <sighs> hey, brother. You from around the way? I guess. No big man with a big gun strapped to his right arm? Heard he set up shop somewhere in the neighborhood. That uh, depends. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Smell an opportunity to make some scratch, do you? Five hundred. Two hundred. Mm, three. Whatever, man. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Walk with me. Hey! Got something to say? What? You looking at me? I said so move. I wonder if this mercenary personality of Cloud 
is strong enough that he'd actually be willing to sell out Avalanche to these people. I mean, they haven't really offered anything, but he also hasn't, hasn't told them off, or he hasn't turned around and went back into the bar and told them about these people searching for them. So, it's a little bit iffy here. After you, brother. And don't worry, I ain't the backstabbing type. Most days. Spill it! You know where the bastard's hiding, don't you? I told you before. That depends. Oh yeah? You wasted my time! Shinra's time, you mean? <laughs> Shinra knows better than to stick its nose in my boss's business. Like I give a shit. I suppose Cloud might have just been fishing for information, trying to figure out who sent them, or why they were there, perhaps how much they know, or whatever. Because you'd think, though, if he were going to sell out Avalanche and sell out Barrett, that that would get Tifa into some trouble, put her in danger, and he wouldn't be really willing to do that. He is kind of protective of her, as we'll see, and would have seen in the original game. So, I'm, I'd like to think, at least, that, that Cloud wasn't about to sell them out even if he was offered something good. I wonder why Tifa is so set on joining the next bombing mission. Because even though in the original game she didn't seem to be affected at all by the collateral damage that they caused with the first run, she does seem to be here, and it sounds like... We weren't there for the conversation, but it sounds as though she, while in the basement in the avalanche uh, hideout, she was trying to talk them out of doing the next bombing run. Even though they didn't want to cause all the damage they did, and they figure the next bombing run is going to probably do the same exact thing, they're still willing to go and go through it anyway. The same bomb, the same explosion, the same amount of innocent people getting hurt. They're still willing to do it anyway. Tifa, on the other hand, doesn't want to do it. Maybe she would have been fine with it had the mission gone as planned, but all of that extra harm and shit, she's just not cool with. Still, she's a part of Avalanche, and she tried talking them down, but it didn't work. But she's still part of it, and I guess she'll still be going on the next run. I haven't done that mission yet. Also, the other characters seem to have been willing to uh, go to bat for Cloud, bringing him in on the next bombing run, but Barrett doesn't want him there. And I wonder if it's just because Cloud is asking for too much money. <laughs> it's not his problem. There was a... I mean, I had it muted there, but you could probably read it. At one point, one of the one of these goons goes and begs for his life. Uh, like, stop, oh, let me go. And, like, I don't even know if you're given an option to let that happen. Cloud just sort of kills him there. Still, all Cloud really knows is that they weren't sent by Shinra. In fact, I, my suspicion is they were sent by Don Corneo. But, uh, or however the hell his name is pronounced. I guess I'll find out later. You think still he'd go back and let Avalanche know that something is up. Like, it would probably be a bad idea to go on the next mission, like, just to lay low for a little while in the event that there's people snooping around in the slums. But Cloud doesn't really seem to care. He's kind of an an asshole in that way. I mean, Cloud was kind of an asshole in the original game. But it's kind of a weird way that personality worked out. First impressions are the most important. And most people's first impressions of Cloud is that he's an asshole. Although that personality did kind of die out as the game went on. <laughs> Welcome home, honey. Took your sweet time. Uh, uh, uh. Psych. <sighs> Are you gonna let me in so we can talk in private? <laughs> 